the human cost, if we don't address these shortages to both health workers and patients, is uh, obviously the, the lack of delivery of health services in a timely and effective manner. So patients not getting the services they need to av avert disability and death. Uh, but there's sort of a broader knock-on effect of where health workers that are overstressed or overburdened, uh, they, they may leave the workforce all, all, all together and lead us to having fewer health workers overall. In this study, we measured the global health workforce. So we produced estimates for four cadres of health workers for 204 countries and territories. Um, and most notably, we focused on physicians. So the number of physicians uh, per capita, the number of nurses and midwives per capita. This is the first study that has a long time series, 30 years, for 204 countries, and uh, with very good quality of data, almost 96% of the countries contribute with information. In addition to estimating the, the number currently at work um, across countries and territories in the world, we also estimated the, the magnitude of shortages, the magnitude of nurses and midwives missing uh, to achieve the universal health coverage, effective coverage index, as well as the number of physicians. And so that gave us a sense of really not only the existing workforce, but what is required in order to achieve universal health coverage. When we estimated how many we need in the world for these four cadres, we are, we are estimating a shortage of 43 million. The shortage is uh, mainly in amount of numbers, is mainly nurses. We, are, we need 30 million nurses more in the world. And in the case of physicians, we need 6 million. The big uh, gaps are in Sub-Saharan Africa, the majority of the countries of Sub-Saharan Africa, also in South Asia. In fact, almost all the countries of uh, Sub-Saharan Africa are with short ages in a different sizes uh, for nurses, for physicians, for uh, pharmacologists, for dentists. The shortages in low and middle income countries matter, um, you know, because low and middle income countries still have um, substantial uh, work to do to achieve universal health coverage. And health workers play a critical component in achieving the, the UHC or universal health coverage. Um, they're also fundamental just to the delivery of health services. Um, so they're, they play a key role in, in low and middle income countries achieving uh, the sustainable development goals. The WHO has called for high-income countries to engage in responsible recruitment of health workers to ensure there is not substantial brain drain, as we call it, a influx of health workers from low- and middle-income countries to high-income countries. Um, but we also note that um, you know uh, sufficient incentives, uh, respect for uh, scheduling, all these types of retention tools high-income countries can engage in to ensure that their health workforce remains strong while also ensuring that they're, they're not incentivizing the drain of health workers from low- and middle-income countries where um, shortages are even more substantial. High-income countries need more regulation in the way that they contract, in the way that they give incentives, and the uh, poor settings, the countries with less capacity, they, they need to be, uh, they need to create more local incentives, increase the, 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 the salaries, increase the social protection for health workers in order to retain this, this workforce. If we don't take action to address healthcare worker shortages, um, I think we, what the pandemic showed is that there are links between the health system, 
obviously with health outcomes, but also economic and social development. And so health workers play a role in delivering health services that enable people to stay at work, enable people to pursue an education. So they really contribute to the broad swath of the sustainable development goals. Um, and so we risk, without investing in, in a health workforce, um, potentially not contributing